After watching The Matrix, I had an interesting dream, and I want to share that dream with you. This dream is going to help us remember the characteristics and features of Cryptococcus neoformans. Let's take a look. So I went to go sit down in my seat at my dinner table, and I saw a picture of Neo on my fork. I called him the Neo Fork Man. The creepy Neo Fork Man. Neo Fork Man for Neo Formans, and the creepy Neo Fork Man for Cryptococcus Neo Formans. He was wearing this really heavy hat, probably a baker's hat, but the really heavy hat is to help us remember that Cryptococcus Neo Formans is a heavily encapsulated yeast. The latex glove that was touching his head over here, you see the latex glove over here, is to help us remember the latex agglutination test, which detects the polysaccharide capsule antigen and is more sensitive and specific. The fungus fun guy over here is to help us remember that Cryptococcus neoformans is a fungus, and he's standing on top of money over here to help us remember that it's monomorphic. Ironically, I was studying for Cryptococcus neoformans for my board's exam over here, and that's where we find this picture over here, which we'll describe in a second. But there's this ink over here, India ink over here. This is a container of India ink to help us remember the India ink, which is used for diagnosis. The fungus is highlighted with India ink, and it shows these oval or roundish yeast with surrounding clear halos, and that's what we see over here. What about the stain that's going on over here? This is the, the mucocarmine stain, which stains an inner capsule red bright. And how are we going to remember the mucocarmine stain? Well, over here, we have this greenish car, it's sort of like a mucus car. I think it looks like a mucus car, it looks like it has mucus over it, and this mucus car is driving right into that picture over there. To help us remember the mucocarmine stain, which stains the inner capsule bright red. Flying over this scene, we find this pigeon over here. And this pigeon actually dropped some droppings over here. To help us remember that transmission of Cryptococcus neoformans is through pigeon droppings. And this pigeon is covered in soil to help us remember that it's also found in the soil. So let's describe what we see on this part of the table. We see a first aid kit and a brain with soap bottle in it. So the first aid kit is to help us remember AIDS or immunocompromised patients, especially AIDS patients. Cryptococcus neoformans disseminated disease affects primarily the immunocompromised, such as those with AIDS. The brain with the soap in it is to help us remember the soap bottles. Cryptococcus neoformans can cause a number of diseases, including cryptococcal meningitis and cryptococcal encephalitis. And the encephalitis presents with soap bubble lesions in the brain. These are gelatinous pseudocysts, which appear like bubbles on CAT scan. And the fire, well, the big fire, is to help us remember the encephalitis and the meningitis, which is inflammation of the brain. Now let's talk about treatment of Cryptococcus neoformans. So I put that on this side of the scene. This part of the dream is to help us remember the treatment. So the treatment for Cryptococcus neoformans is Amphotericin B. And thus we find this amphibian flying on top of this bee, which we find in a number of scenes. Additionally, over here we find this flute over here. This flute actually can see. This flute can see to help us remember flucytosine. And that is followed by fluconazole. And that's represented by this can over here with a flute in it. Flute can for fluconazole. So that was my incredibly weird dream after watching The Matrix. It helps remember the features of Cryptococcus neoformans. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.